Yo, what's up, Freddy? Shady, creative people, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our podcast. Today, during daylight. Yeah, it's a rare time. Usually we have like a, a beer. Now we got coffee. We got coffee from our friend Yoon. And we have our special guest and friend visiting us, Butter. He is the creator and director of an amazing art gallery, Banana Jam. He's also been many years in the interior design field, so we are somehow colleagues. And uh, we, it happened that we met each other during the Shenzhen Creative Week. Yes. You had uh, your space with many of your resident uh, artists in there. We carried out some interview and stuff, and uh, we are very happy to have you here uh, today visiting us in uh, Nanto. So thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you for inviting me. So give us a little bit of uh, your, what, what you do in Shenzhen. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I know that you have a, a gallery. Yes. And also you make custom artwork for people. Yes. <laughs> kind of um, artist. I'm also an artist for ceramic. So you, you yourself? Yes. Uh, I do ceramic by myself. And uh, also sometimes when I have time also painting a little bit <laughs> wow a lot of things <laughs> yes uh, and uh, running a gallery called banana jam uh, i love the name kind of uh, art space mm -hmm. yeah interesting name <laughs> yeah i like it mm. you, you want to share with the audience where is your uh, gallery can my we gallery, visit every day and so on for sure my gallery located in lohu okay lohu district uh, a building called ADC building, uh, right? Which is a, a kind of a furnishing market there, mm -hmm. right? Yes. How long have you been uh, starting the art gallery in uh, Shenzhen? There, there is not many in the field of of the arts in Shenzhen. Being a young city compared to Beijing and Shanghai, I think yes. there is a bit of a lack of this. So it's very cool to have spaces and people like you. Yes, yes. Uh, so, yeah, I was learning this art space uh, since 2016 uh, uh -huh. when I uh, graduated from my MA from London. Uh, right. Yeah. And uh, in that time, it's quite, uh, yeah, it's quite quiet in this <laughs> art field. <laughs> yes, <laughs> almost nothing, yeah, basically. Yeah, but these years, uh, actually, in Shenzhen, uh, especially contemporary art, de developing for a lot, as the faster, as the speed, <laughs> Shenzhen. Shenzhen, speed. Know, Shenzhen speed. Shenzhen yeah, speed yes. is coming also yeah. into the art uh, field. Yes, I'm yeah. sure that you were almost one of the first ones because I remember. I mean, I've been here ten years, except some uh, spaces in uh, OCT loft. But mm -hmm. even like before OCT loft, I mean, like um, when I first moved to Shenzhen like ten years ago. Mm. Like the only place I knew about like looking at art was going to like the Dafan oil painting village. Right. You know, um, yeah. <laughs> which is like, you know, mm. yeah, yeah, that was it. You know, and there was like a museum there that you could go see. And there's a few private galleries in, in Dafan. But other than that, mm. I don't know any other like art museums or art galleries or anything. Yeah, it's quite difficult, to be honest, dealing with art uh, without... Uh, so much support uh, for 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 how could I say for some art organizations uh, if they don't support by some mm. uh, how could I say artworks, artworks uh, uh, so on, yeah. by governments difficult to be survive yeah but luckily we banana jang finally they survived <laughs> right. You, m most of your uh, artists uh, are uh, um, 
selected by you for with some criteria or are they like resident in place so they develop their thing how is the process behind the scene of working with these artists on your side yeah so in the beginning of uh, banana jam i was thinking uh, the how how could i say that basically we are lack of uh, uh, creative, uh, pe- creative, creative work, creative works, people, yeah. uh, people, because we don't communicate with different culture people, different cultural background people too much. Right. So I was thinking, why not? Because I uh, started my. Uh, major in, 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 in London so why not invite those people come to China uh, and your major was in art yes right uh, I was supposed to do to, to, to study uh, design to be honest but I changed my major okay mm. and uh, yeah it is a big story behind <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah so I tried to uh, invite my colleague, uh, uh, my, my, uh, how can I say? My friends, classmate, good classmates, my friend yeah. From, uh, different countries. Okay. To, uh, Shenzhen and create a period of time. Uh, mostly we do monthly program and, uh, try to make the monthly work to fuel the space. Right. The main purpose for banana jam right <laughs> jam right. means yeah to uh fool with something or right like chuck yeah. jam <laughs> or music nice. jam yeah music jam <laughs> so banana jam has like several different meanings uh banana as as you know you know it's a symbol of Pop, pop art, art. Right. Yeah. yeah, and the world and, and so on. Banana as a symbol to, to, to calling people to call people join art. Mm. So yeah, I, I also, I hope banana jam can be something to be uh, let people know uh, art can play with random people. Mm. Right, yes. oh. right. Yeah, yeah. No, it's nice because, like, as we had the chance to discuss before, one thing is about uh, creating art, and one thing is about being able to promote art and the art of other people. Mm. And uh, whether the, the public is interested or not, first of all, art and artists need to have a space where they Mm. can communicate this and Mm. where they can create this. Mm. So in the little scale of the gallery, Mm. before, you know, the big ass museum and so on, the little scale of the gallery is the most fundamental part for an artist to start to to create something. Mm. You have a space, fill it up. Mm -hmm. And without that, there wouldn't be the possibility for someone sitting in their studio and in their room to mm. do things and then find someone to put them somewhere. So people like you are helping the whole artist community and creativity expression here in Shenzhen. Yes. Uh, you know, I don't know why, I don't know when peop- people uh, start to realize there is a butter who dealing with foreign artists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's quite funny for me. I, I didn't, you know, for me, I, I was very uh, honestly pleasure for doing uh, works for foreign artists because they, people like you, as the time I was in London, to be honest, it's quite uh, uh, in the beginning of time. I trust, I believe you will feel something isolated. Right. Yeah. As a foreign uh, 
Alien. Yeah, <laughs> alien. <laughs> literally, literally alien. Yeah, it's even written. You know, the funny, one thing. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Very funny when we arrive into China first time on the visa mm. is written alien permit. Mm. Right. Yeah, if you read on your passport, we have the alien permit. It was like yeah. so. Literally, we are alienated in a new yeah. culture. So yeah, I feel t this feeling. To be honest, it's quite. Uh, strange when you were a stranger, totally in a strange city. Right. Uh, you might feel lonely or something stressful in the beginning of the, the time. And some people, they, they, they went to China as you. They, they could find a, a way to to find out, but they are very creative. Some people like uh, I met, uh, they are probably, they, they were like street artists in their country, mm -hmm. but they, they are full of energy to do something, but they could find, for example, some people, they even couldn't find a, a formal job, right? but they can start with art. Right. And, uh, uh, to be proactive, to do something, to keep their mind creative and busy while they're finding yes, whatever. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, more and more artists, uh, in they they know me and they introduce different artists to me, and I I feel something. Sometimes I feel really happy. I can uh, share their works and right. you know the, to 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 lead them to uh, a different field in China and to find their roots in China right and even though some people they 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 change their life they are not you know finally they find another way for life but they start with art right it's also good mm -hmm. but at the end uh, I mean mm -hmm. art I think is before being a creative process mm -hmm. of physically creating something mm -hmm. is um is an attitude towards how you see life mm -hmm. how you can have a different point of view about something and how you can express it mm -hmm. in a different way yeah then if you are able to transform this into an object into an action mm -hmm. then becomes art but it doesn't start with what you want to create. It starts with what goes in your head. Yes. Right. So, yes. Uh, if you have that uh, creativity and artistic approach, it doesn't matter if you will start working a bank. You mm. will still have it. It's just an attitude towards uh, life, how to see things. Yes. Interpretation. Yeah. Sometimes people always. Are. Uh, ask me uh, how could I uh, understand this work that work I mean it's very very uh, difficult to to being understand contemporary art mm. if without uh, you know understanding yeah the, the without a, a kind of a process for uh for understanding uh in in some way artists uh, they are creating by very sudden uh, mm -hmm. very uh into it uh, how could i say that word they're inside spontaneous way oh okay mm -hmm. so yes uh, if you cannot understand this work you might need to learn you might in front of a gate to learn yeah that that's good for 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 people mm -hmm. to open their mind yeah. All right. So yeah, for me, I I feel the beginning, the reason of I changed my major because I I really want to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's part of the of the curiosity. Mm. I mean, sometimes also myself as an architect, mm. when I deal with younger students and so on, mm. or if I have to, you know, make a speech and give some suggestions, one of the most important things I always tell them is the to be curious. Mm. You yeah, know, to, to be the, curious. The, to be attracted by things that you don't know mm -hmm. and not to be scared mm -hmm. by the things that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Because if you would be scared of trying to do something or test something that you don't do, you will not be able to discover it. Mm -hmm. And then if you are open-minded enough to absorb mm -hmm. things that you don't know, mm -hmm. whether you know it or not, inside your brain, this mm -hmm. new knowledge will help you to create something new. Because if you understand how things work, it's little pieces of a puzzle that mm. in the future will help you create something in a different way, mm. think about something in a different way. Mm. So being curious, traveling, looking at art, going into a museum, mm. you're looking at pictures, work of other people that whether you understand it or not, mm. like you said, Little by little, it will start to make sense. Yeah, sure, sure. Now, are you only dealing with foreign artists now, or mostly, or mainly we are dealing with uh, foreign artists uh, and uh, some young artists. Uh, they are they were start they were studying. Uh, they graduated from foreign country. Uh, I'm sorry, my poor English. No, no, English. Man, you're very good, man. <laughs> you're joking me. So most of them are, are, or all of them are based in China and creating art in China? And yes. Then, yes. Okay. Uh, some people also, uh, they are creating in their country and they send work to me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Do you work, I mean, in terms of gallery space or... Uh, installations you are doing this only in Shenzhen or sometime also across well we, when there is some fair and stuff of course we met yes. in uh, where was it when, uh, in ah, yeah, when uh, where it was in Bawan yeah sorry yes. yeah and some no. of the artwork that you had in your uh, your booth there was so beautiful mm. like uh, the one guy who was doing like the uh, ceramics that was like in crazy shapes and yeah uh -huh. and there was an, there was another guy that was like it was, was on like the, the wall with the little stripes of paper. Yeah, little stripes with of paper. Stickers, yes. yes, yes. And he goes uh, and finds the junk. Jeffries. From, Jeffrey. from the, uh, I'm not sure. I can't even remember what it was, but like you'd find stuff from the factory. Yes, yes. And then like strip it down. And yes. then. Uh, very creative. Yeah, super, you know, amazing. We are co cooperating quite well and we are doing actually a new project together now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. He he always using something disused material. Yeah. Uh, so this as as we, like we were saying it, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best way to use something disused. Right. Yeah. To make art. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's. I mean, if you think about it, something that is totally meaningless as trash mm -hmm. suddenly becomes valuable. Yes. Because of the point of view and interpretation of someone else. So right. It's a beautiful thing. It's yeah. so powerful. Art mm -hmm. can be so powerful. Yeah. So as we say, modern art, art, the word of art, English art from artificial. Mm -hmm. So actually artists should be kind of a, a magician or something. Uh, change something or, mm -hmm. or transforming something. Uh, yeah. And becoming something like uh, a fl flame, you know, shining someone's yeah. <laughs> inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, but sometimes I, I, I also quite, uh, f for example, in reality, I am a uh, quite heavy, <laughs> sometimes quite heavy uh, man, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes feel too stressful or some, uh, you know, in China, everyone like, uh, you know, very busy, very, very stressed, busy, uh, you know, anxious, <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite lost. Mm. 
but in some way we 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 creative people we can through making art we find something uh, by ourselves you know it's kind of a, a way to cure our inside true uh, yeah, yeah true yeah. so yeah yeah need to find a way to release and deal with the urban jungle around you i mean mm. especially in a in a city like uh, Shenzhen or mm. london or new york where whatever you're doing whether you're doing your own business or you're working for someone mm. of course you are surrounded by <laughs> <laughs> stress deadlines clients payments Always. and there's a special like kind of um gratification that you get when you like you create something with your hands yeah you know like we're in such like a digital world now like on computers on our phone or our ipad when you can just go and get lost in creating something seeing you know, a piece of art using your hands touching the paint building the sculpture there's like a magic in that so yeah 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 i totally agree in some way we we are we are kind of uh stepping a, a kind of a very technical world we are you know looking into a, a small screen always <laughs> right but it's shrink our mind in some way mm. uh, sometimes we too much information too much messages and squashing yourself a, 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 into a kind of a, a small space right but when you're doing art actually you are making a kind of a different space by yourself right for example when i when i uh how could i say when i'm making my ceramic cups small cups but i feel it is a big word you know right <laughs> Small texture in the surface. Surface. When you're doing that, you can feel, you can touch the 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 mud, the clay. Right. In your hands. In your yeah. in your hand, you feel you touch the earth in some way. Right. Right. It's it's the real material, real elements in the world. Uh, you know, when you feel the 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 the. the the clay you feel exactly you you make a dialogue with the earth yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah, yeah yeah it's quite subtle it's not just describing like this sentence yeah. but you feel wow so happy yeah, I it's, can it's a big word big no, space for sure. in your mind and there's just like you know and then there's the, the gratification of of finishing that piece mm -hmm. you know and having it forever or giving it out or selling it or whatever like for me like i used to you know my father is an artist and we used to like paint together and create art together and like my whole life i've been making graphic design on the computer but there's like you know thousands of designs i've created but i don't I have no attachment to them mm -hmm. not like i have like the attachment that i created you know, the painting I created, you know, when I was a kid or a teenager or as a young adult, you know, it's like something like, oh man, like I remember the moment I was painting that stroke and, you know, putting it together and just, I don't know, it's a, it a special feeling, you know, when you create art. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> so, uh, besides the gallery, you also do like a commercial art projects yeah yeah surviving <laughs> so, I, so like if like a, for example like this building wants you to create like a big giraffe or a big mm. big panda bear for the front you know mm. you, you guys would like kind, kind of, of a different uh mostly we are doing project for those developers for some spaces like sales center uh, show flat uh, okay kind of spaces yeah yeah and that um, art like is it like technical art in interactive art the, these, these things that you show me with all these uh, movements and stuff they are very mm -hmm. amazing they are 
they are like coming to you with the idea or you are designing and coming up with all these uh, things? It's very crazy. I really like it. Yes, it's a kind of a near direction uh, for Banana Jam because we, we are kind of expanding our business too. So yeah, since this year, in the beginning of this year, I organized a small team Mm -hmm. for developing this new media's artworks. So we start to do something more interactive uh, right. with people. And uh, yeah, fortunately, it, it's quite good business. <laughs> But I think that for sure Shenzhen is the right place where to deal with the new medias and this kind of uh, yes. thing because... Um, For sure, as we were saying before, there might have been and there might be nowadays a lack in terms of standard or modern art, mm -hmm. but definitely there is a big concentration about uh, futuristic things. Even yes. if you see, I mean, the, the light show on all the bloody facades of the buildings, mm -hmm. I never, and now I get used to it. I see it every day, but I mean, I think nowhere else in the world happens. Mm -hmm. The whole city is a piece of art. Yeah. yeah. With yeah. all the lights. It's all coordinated. Yeah. Mm. So definitely, I think uh, Shenzhen can excavate his own niche into this new media thing because mm. everybody would expect uh, these crazy things to be normal, you know? Yes. Like, No, we give it for granted. But every time someone comes to Shenzhen for the mm. first time, mm. when they see the light show, they say, is it something special today? Mm. You know, they, what's happening? They say, oh, no, it's the light show. Mm. The whole mm. <laughs> fucking city. <laughs> for us, it's uh, normal, right? Yes, yeah. yes. So it's, it is an a interesting point for our visual artist. To be honest, it's it's kind of a challenge for for viewers, for artists, uh, also for for random people. Actually, they are uh, they they are more how could I say that word in attracted. Uh, they are yeah they, they adapt. Oh, okay. To different visually. Uh, visual experience visual experience yes so yeah in the in for example five or six years before i just start this uh contemporary art space but in that time not so much contemporary artworks in shenzhen absolutely but, but no. right now actually you know it's kind of a, a variety uh cities you know everywhere you can see different uh, Uh, near medias comes mm -hmm. out and uh, yes more and more you know uh, it's kind of uh, people start to 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 be normal to see something unusual right uh, yes so in this uh, It's, uh, how could I say? It is kind of a uh, reason for uh, aesthetically we are uh, to be, we are going to be global life. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's kind of, you, you, in, 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 the, in the, we can't imagine 10 years before. No. Uh, you know, we, we are not such, if we, saw some uh, uh, i still remember in the the graffiti in ocit site right uh, that naked uh, mm, yeah uh, figure figures, yeah uh, painted by a, a uk guy he's quite famous in uk actually i i saw several similar uh, graffitis mm -hmm. in in london and uh, it was quite Both. Amazing, yeah. yeah, it's it's amazing. But for some people, what the hell? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not ready so for it. Right now, it's becoming a kind of uh, 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 
a spot for taking photo. We say exactly. Wang Hong Da Ka Di, right? Okay.、Uh, the place we should go to take photo. <laughs> <laughs> And、uh, yeah, it, for this in、uh, internet economy environment, to be honest,、uh, people becoming kind of、uh, more. How could I say they? They are. They are really. Don't mind something artistic or not, but they are really、uh, fancy something that has the effect, whether they understand、yes. it or not. But I catch it. Yeah, I catch it.、Mm -hmm. I always say this word, Instagrammable. Yeah,、right. like something that you know that if you post a photo with, attracts attention.、Yeah. It's kind of something children up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Children, they are. Own character, their own.、Uh, how could I say? Yeah, the, 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 no, no, but I understand.、Uh, I understand. This affects a lot, also.、Um, you know, the work of us as、uh, designers. Sometimes,、mm -hmm. you know.、Uh, of course, I mean nowadays, if we have to design、uh, a bar or a shop. I don't know in a place like、uh, Nanto、mm -hmm. here, right? You know that it will make a big difference whether you have that little thing, that little detail、mm. that everybody wants to come there to take a photo with.、Mm -hmm. That it can be, you know, a design piece, or if I put a Vespa outside my Italian pizza place,、mm -hmm. and I will have. Hundred people coming there just to sit on the Vespa to take the photo, whether、mm -hmm. they consume or not. But that's that's part of、um, there's the good and bad sides of it. But at the end, it's like passive advertising,、mm. and at the same time, it can、uh, allow people to、uh, enjoy something in a way that nowadays maybe our generation not as much, but the younger generation needs to have. Yes. Otherwise, they are not entertained. Yes, and that is、uh, that is the big problem because, like I say to one of my、uh, clients、uh, recently, is that、um, the if you if you create a commercial space, a shop,、mm. or an art space,、mm. or whatever where you want to have people、mm -hmm. to come in there. Yeah. You need to do it in a way that it is interesting to enter,、mm. even if it's empty,、mm -hmm. because they don't come for what you sell.、Mm -hmm. They will first come for the space, and if you are not making your space as interesting as、uh, internet can be, then it will die. Mm, Because、right. everybody can find something interesting on the internet,、mm. can spend all day finding cool stuff.、Mm. But you need to be cool enough for people to be there. If you are not able to be as fast and as interesting as the internet, commercial space will die.、Mm. People will buy. If it's only about your product, I will buy it online. Why do I have to come to your shop?、Mm. So that changed a lot the perspective. In my case, as a designer of space, an interior、yes. designer and an architect, it's not about just putting your product there and、mm. you sell it. You need first to sell your space and image,、mm. then people will discover your product. Otherwise, if your product is good, they will buy it online. That's it.、Mm. So, yeah. So yeah, for me, I mean, I could express where, but I, I got. Something quite negative point, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> okay. Because as a, a two two kids father, I feel they are real. They are addicted too much. Too、uh, much on internet. Right.、Yeah. And they they are really kind of、uh, anti. The reality world. Anti-social, anti-social. Man, that's not.、Good. So yeah, how could we, as a designer before, and you are architect, graphic designer, 
But how could we, you know, being always creating, creative, you know, we are too, we are exhausted mm. <laughs> for <laughs> creating. <laughs> always trying to. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Of course, there are generation, generation, there are always something interesting mm. for, for, the, for them. But the, the reality is they are, you know, they are not, uh, they are not, it's for young people, for those youngers, they are not t too much money for right for 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 consumption mm. and uh, but the interesting side normally we cost a lot to make it oh yeah for example those interactive artworks actually they are quite luxury right mm -hmm. for those the, the we just discussed the uh, kind of uh, difference between uh, OCAT and uh, right Mento. right so more commercial uh, feeling or more commercial uh, 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 environment more commercial shops and they are becoming luxury because oh, yeah, they yeah. should to 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 make their place more interesting they cost more money on that and they need to become yeah different uh, supports and they selling something more expensive expensive yeah that's true that's true so how could the, those young guys find they are um you know the, the point for themselves it's important how oh, could yeah. you the the place for example, this place, I, I was quite shocked, to be honest. About the yeah. Nanto area, you Developing, mean? Yeah. Developed a lot. It happened very fast, right? Mm. Well, when was the last time that you were last here? Last time I came here in the evening. Oh, okay. Because, yeah. because for your friend, the jewelry friend, maker, yes, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. But, uh, but you, 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 you've been here during the Biennale, right? Yes. So you have seen. Yes, it's yeah. totally different. Yeah, um, almost so no recognize. Yeah. It's good. It's really good uh, for this place. I think that is also somehow in line with what we just discussed, just on a different scale. Mm -hmm. By making the street, mm -hmm. the landscape, mm -hmm. the urban scenario interesting. Mm -hmm you are dragging in the people mm -hmm. that are coming here not because of buying something mm -hmm. but because of seeing here yes by wanting to come here to see this new development mm -hmm. and take a lot of photos eh? they will discover all the shops uh, gallery restaurant and that's what mm -hmm. benefit everyone yeah for sure. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people, if you come here in the weekend, it, there's a lot of people, I'm sure most of them, if you ask them, why did you come here? They say, because I want to see the area. Mm -hmm. Not because, oh, I heard there is a special shop. Mm -hmm. They will, they come because it's about the general mm -hmm. area development. That's yes. uh, what we were discussing before. By making it interesting, people will come mm -hmm. and then they will buy products, mm -hmm. buy the gelato or mm -hmm. take a sandwich right. or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then maybe once they know it, they will order online and delivery <laughs> and, and mm -hmm. whatever. But at least there is that uh, physical interaction mm -hmm. that honestly, during daytime, in Shenzhen, I was not seeing since quite a while. I mean, mm. you can see this, of course, in Ossity Loft still, that is a very nice development and so on. But otherwise, 
you have a lot of malls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I know. Actually, it's kind of uh, uh, this this space, uh, this place. It's kind of uh, it's more wild. It's more wild. I I don't know. Vancouver probably it's the big developer for this place, and they support for uh, many many creative uh, uh, shop owners or something mm-hmm. but it's important it's growing growing like the the wider uh how could i say the the the, the nature growing oh okay with the local and uh, different uh, yeah uh, like organically growing it's not like yes boom everything down and everything yes, new yes. is rooted in yes. the in the yes. existing yes so i could uh, i just could explain where but uh, i can feel the energy uh yeah yeah i think this road. place is very uh, mm. unique in shenzhen yes you know it's this, quite unique you know the cup has the history mm. You know, yes. and I love that they have like uh, so many little art galleries, mm-hmm. so many different like um, every month mm-hmm. they have like new pop up exhibitions mm-hmm. and, um, you know, great food, great drinks. Yes. You know, there's always I think and also a lot of like festivals and like week- weekend activities are, go- are going on here. So mm-hmm. I think it's a it is a very good vibe. Also, mm-hmm. people that come here, of course. Most of them come here, of course, for doing business, Mm -hmm. but they, you can feel they have a vision. Mm -hmm. Everybody is doing something nice. You know, everybody is doing something that, uh, okay, is a business. You want to make money, but you want to do it nice for the people. Yes. That's Mm -hmm. the thing. That's an important point. It's not only for tourists. It's not only for earning money from the tourists. That's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Shenzhen is a is a, a big, quite international city, but uh, people, yeah, lack of place to go in the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that people know, you know, not only this is a place that I believe is not that in six months after everybody visited they don't come back anymore. Yeah, it is not true. like this because it will be like every month there will be something different. Even like we were discussing mm. that we even ourselves, we take the space for our studio, mm. but we want to, to make this uh, little corner mm-hmm. for showcasing something mm-hmm. or an artist or a work mm-hmm. every month different because w- everybody, if they know that every time they come, they will find something different, this place will never die, it will only grow. Yes. So yeah. that's what makes it uh, different. Yes. So, yeah, it's quite common it's, uh, in the past for those uh, tourist site, uh, all the, the, the shops, they are selling products much, much more expensive than the, the actual the, value right. of the market. other place. Yeah. So, yeah, for this place, we cannot see this phenomenon. It's right. quite local. Yeah. People just, you know, taking food, uh, uh, like, you know, eating uh, breakfast in the corner. Right. They are, they are, they are kind of lifestyle yeah. yeah so and also if you notice i mean except the main renovation street mm-hmm. as long as you turn inside mm-hmm. a small street mm-hmm. you are in the middle of like it was before like yes. the urban mm-hmm. village uh, mm-hmm. uh, typical street so yes. that's also quite quite yes. cool yes. because that's unfortunately good. this urban villages little by little are disappearing in shenzhen yeah. because of the value of the land but yes. here they looks like they're going to keep this one well oh, and this one also has the historic value yeah i wanted to ask you one thing about um so you have like your your art gallery space mm-hmm. but you also you have like a workshop where you're like you're yeah cr- yeah, yeah. Cr- of always creating studio mm. so where's the studio at 
are actually in Duffen site. It's in Duffen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> because for those framing scenes, uh, it's, it's all quite, convenient, yeah, right? convenient to make scenes there. Do you live near Duffen? Or? No, I'm living in Bantian district. Oh, okay, not far. Yeah. I, I live uh, right near Duffen. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, um, I used to go there all the time. I haven't gone there in a few years, but like uh, I used to go there all the time. Just to, uh, Before, they used to have like... Um, some bookshops there but now it's less and less but before mm -hmm. i used to go there and i would see books that i've like worked on mm -hmm. like a few years ago mm -hmm. they're being sold in the shop mm -hmm. and then i'd go to like the factory print a book mm -hmm. and these all these books are meant to be for export but then there's like some in the dafan bookstores and also you know like how my books like you know really? yeah <laughs> you know it's like some black market like coming out of like the factory uh, okay going into yeah. uh you know, the Dauphin <laughs> bookstores, you know? Dauphin is famous for making copies. <laughs> well, yeah. also, that's another thing, too, is like, um, I have, uh, I, I would print a book, like, this. I did this book one time, this architect based in Hawaii who makes these, like, really beautiful, like, bungalow houses, mm. you know, million-dollar houses. Mm. And I printed this book. Uh, the cloth was, like, super expensive. It was, like, five-color printing with a mm. metallic foil. Mm. The books were shipped, mm. but then I some, found it on Taobao. You can find on Taobao. <laughs> it was on Taobao before uh -huh. my shipment made it to the United States. No way. Oh so I, did, you, did you sign so I, the contract with the factory? They so couldn't do it. So I, so I purchased the book. Let me finish the story. So I purchased the book. Uh -huh. So the book was just a little bit smaller uh -huh. right, than the original size. There's no cloth. There's no like five color printing. Uh -huh. So somebody either like took the files and reprinted it, which mm. I don't think they took the files because mm. I think if they would have taken the files, mm. it, would be, it, it would be the same size. So I think they took a finished book from the factory, scanned mm. everything. Oh my gosh. And then put it together. <laughs> and that's why it was a little bit thinner because mm -hmm. you need the, the extra, hey, yeah. the 3mm for the, for the trimming of Cutting the book. It, yeah. So it was crazy. I, I'll bring it in. I, we'll have, I'll bring it in so you can see both. Crazy. Uh, both oh, copies. so we can compare the one from Tobao and the original, the original one? Oh, yeah. man, we have to. I want to see that. Okay. But yeah, it was like, <laughs> it blew my mind. But I used to go to Dauphin all the time because they had like the, there was like a book I bought, like a Tim Burton, you know, he's a famous film. You know Tim Burton? Filmmaker. Filmmaker, but also a great artist. Um, he had a limited edition book that he made, uh, printed by Artron, which is like the fam most famous. Artron, yeah. Yeah, so this book was going for like a thousand US dollars a piece, wow. right? I found it in Dafan. No. For like 50 RMB. <laughs> 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 you know? so, I would like to buy. <laughs> yeah. So, I used to go to Dafan all the time looking for like these special books and stuff like that. But someday, man, I would love to go and... Um, visit your workshop yeah we and have to. Uh, check it I out can. see see yeah. the space you know yeah. it'd be another good reason to go to dafa and look for more yeah. books yes so. also we we'll start do some fun things together yeah we can somehow announce that we plan to jam up our space together with uh, butter and banana jam so <laughs> yeah i'm excited some for that. interesting things are mm. coming towards Thank you. this space Ah, very cool. Looking forward, of course, to come to your space, to what we're going to do together next. And once again, mm -hmm. thanks a lot for coming. Yeah, I really hope you appreciate it. My pleasure. <laughs> enjoyed. We will, for those who are following this, we will share all the contacts of uh, Butter and Banana Jam and locations and so on to go and mm -hmm. visit him. And we will also, for sure, vlog about it soon. So... Shady, creative people, butter, thanks for coming. Thank you. We're out. We are out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>